Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David, and this is a Magic Review. Next up is Luck of the Draw from Liam Moncher and Big Blind Media. What is it? Basically, it's a raffle ticket prediction effect. It's another mentalism effect. Uh, you have a plastic bag and you can shuffle it, and the spectators see hundreds of different colored, different numbered raffle tickets, and yet whenever they reach their hand inside the bag, no matter what number they bring, you have predicted it already. Hi there, I'm Liam from Big Blind Media, and I'm really excited to introduce to you a brand new release called Luck of the Draw. Now this is actually a sort of utility tool that you can use for all kinds of tricks, but I'm going to talk you through my favourite application. If you've seen me lecture recently, then you've seen me do this already, and you've seen how quickly they sell at lectures, so I'm really excited to actually have enough to be able to offer it to the guys on BBM as well. So basically, um, the main trick that I'm doing with this at the moment is a card at any number with no dealing or counting. So it's like so easy you don't even need to count to be able to do it, which suits me down to the ground. So the basic idea of the main effect is that I have a prediction deck, which I'm going to come back to in a moment, which I've prepared, so you can be very honest about that. A lot of preparation in that deck. Um, but then I have a regular deck of cards and a bag of raffle tickets that are all different numbers. What we're going to do is try and make a coincidence happen. Now, of course, that's a weird idea in itself because a coincidence is when two events are so closely related that it seems they must be linked, but they're not. So if I try and make that happen and it's successful, I don't know if it even still counts as a coincidence, let's find out. So the first spectator gets given the bag of raffle tickets, they can shake them around, and you don't touch the bag at all. You have them open up the bag, they reach in and they take out any number without looking at it and they hold on to it until the end. The next spectator is given the deck of cards that you've been using all the way through your show. They shuffle the cards up as much as they want, and they hand you all the cards back except for one. It's a completely free choice again. Then you reveal your special deck that you've prepared. You open it up and take it out. And in this case, the card is the Ten of Spades that the spectator's chosen. So you spread through the cards and you take out the Ten of Spades like this. And you place it onto the card box so that they can keep their eyes on it. There we go. Then you point out that if they'd chosen the Jack of Clubs, they'd have got a different result because this pack, the reason it took you so long to prepare is because every single card has a different three-digit number on the back. And if they'd chosen the Six of Spades instead of the Ten, they'd have got Six, Eight, Nine. If they'd chosen the Nine of Spades, Two, One, Six. You can actually hand this deck out. Spectators can examine it. There's no rough and smooth, no long and short. It really is just what it appears to be, which is a bunch of cards with different numbers on the backs. Of course, they didn't choose any of those cards, though. They chose the Ten of Spades. The number your spectator took out of the bag is 183 in this case. And, of course, the coincidence of all coincidences has happened. And on the back of the Ten of Spades is 183. So that is a super easy trick. It's completely self-working. Um, anybody can do it. And it's just one of the tricks which is in my new project, which is called Luck of the Draw. Uh, we've got loads of other tricks in there as well book tests, we've got um, add a number ideas, just chance routines, things big enough to do close up like this at tables, and things to do on stage as well. So what do you actually get in the package? You get the full instructions for all of those routines. You actually get the raffle tickets as well. So what's basically happening here is you're being supplied with 300 raffle tickets. You're getting 100 that are totally random, totally different that you can see in the bag. Then you're getting a set of 100 false tickets, which we've got inside this bag as well. So you're going to get um, 100 tickets of the exact same number, but all different colours, which is what makes this false bag really, really deceptive, just in case something does show. Uh, then you also get in the package another set of 100 false numbers so that you can do two falses. All of this is packaged in what looks like a, just a normal bag, but this is actually a clear false bag that we've made up. Um, and it's absolutely perfect for stage because it's visible and it's fine for close-up because you can just fold it up, put it in your pocket. 
and it looks a lot more natural than some of the ones that you can buy. I mean, you can definitely buy one from a dealer, but most of them just look, you know, really bizarre. They're sort of A4 size with borders and things, all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So you get all of that in the package. That's just one of the routines that you can do. And I'm super excited to be able to offer it to you now. We don't have many of them. They take me ages to make up. So if you fancy getting in on the action, now's the time. Um, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy Luck of the Draw. All right, so that was Liam Moncher. Uh, you might remember we've done some reviews uh, for him in the past. He and Big Blind Media, they've worked together a lot and they've always put out some really good products. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews. And the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? It's not really a box. It's, it's not a box. It's a bag. <laughs> you get a plastic bag uh, and then inside the bag, uh, you're getting the tickets, the printed tickets, uh, that come in multi-colors, multi-numbers. I think there's like 300 that you get in this. Uh, it makes for a really um, well-presented effect. Uh, and then you're getting the paper instructions, and then you're getting a code to a download. Is it what I thought? It's absolutely what I thought. If you were gonna say, how would you do this trick? This is how I would do it, and this is how he's doing it. So it is an old plot, it is an old method. Probably a method that you already know. However, uh, you know, it's from Liam and he's kind of updated it and given it a facelift. And so that is what uh, is attractive about this effect. How are the angles? There are some angles, kind of, um, and I will couple this with can it be inspected? All right, let's put those two questions together. Uh, obviously, it has to be inspected, kind of, because you hand the bag to the spectator and they draw the ticket out. All of that should be handled through audience management where um, you follow Liam's instructions about how to hand the bag out and how to retrieve it back. Beyond that, there should be um, elements of evidence or elements of proof where you're proving to them what they're doing is normal and that the bag is normal and the tickets are normal, okay? But after the effect is over, no, I wouldn't recommend giving the bag back and saying, sure, inspect it, okay? So there's an element where they can inspect it, where they're going through the process, but you're not then gonna hand the bag back and say, okay, now take a closer look. You wouldn't do that. The bag is gimmicked, the, the, the raffle tickets are gaffed, okay? So there is an element that you are still trying to hide from them, but all of that should be handled through your audience management and your presentation. What's the overall quality and production value of the trick? Okay, first of all, uh, the instructions are all in written form, okay? So they're in a little written booklet that comes with the set. There is a code to go and download a video. Uh, the video is eight minutes and 20 seconds long. Liam's gonna cover everything you need to know in that eight minutes. I mean, it's not complicated. There's not a lot of difficult moves. He's gonna go over everything that you need. It's just not overly extensive. It's not one of those long, drawn out, hour long BBM type videos, okay? This is just nine minutes-ish. So uh, he's giving you everything you need within that and then he's relying on you to be able to practice it and present it in your own way. Is it well made? Okay, you just need to know going into this, it's paper and a plastic bag, okay? There's really no other elements to this. There's no moving parts, there's nothing that involves batteries. There's no hidden doors, there's no invisible threat, okay? This is just a plastic bag and paper uh, lottery tickets. So that's all there is. So yeah, it's well made, but you'll have to take care of it. Um, there's the opportunity that you might wanna replace it over time. Uh, Liam will cover that in the video. Uh, if you wanna make your own, he does definitely go over that. But just know going into this, these are the elements that you're working with. How much practice does it require? I don't think it requires a whole lot of practice, especially if you've done uh, tricks with an audience before and you just know how to talk to an audience. Uh, this is a really simple prop. It's not, you know, there's no moving parts to it. There's not a lot of gimmickry to it. It's pretty straightforward. It's just you learning the presentation, learning the pattern and, and moving forward with it. So uh, I don't think it'll require a ton of practice, especially if you have that kind of experience, but you know, you may want to go over your lines once or twice. How much setup and reset is there? There's practically none. Uh, you're doing a one-time setup where you're rigging the bag and getting it ready to go. And then after that, you're good to go. Uh, you know, the, you get a lot of those little lottery tickets. If you want to let your spectator keep it, I don't know, maybe you could if you wanted to. I mean, you're, you get a hundred or so and depends on how many times you want to do the trick, I guess. Maybe you might never do it a hundred times. But anyway, uh, I think uh, the only reset will be you getting the lottery ticket back from the spectator and putting it back in the bag and then you're ready for the next presentation. Positives, positives for luck of the draw. It's just a fun trick. 
you know, this is perfect for parlor, perfect for like a party situation or maybe like a small stage presentation. Uh, I, like I said, it's fun. Uh, it's a perfect trick to, to do in the offbeat where you're going from one uh, effect to the next. Uh, there's, there's lots of good elements to this. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives to look at the draw? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, the, the trick itself is just pretty simple. You know, I wasn't blown away by the presentation because I kind of knew how these tricks go. And you know, a lot of magicians sometimes give away these style of effects for free, just because they're, you know, they're classics of magic. Um, I, I do think you get some good elements. I think that Liam has kind of updated this for the 21st century, which is great. It's just not my total bag of tricks. <laughs> it's, it's not my kind of trick, um, but it was still enjoyable. It was pleasant. So, I mean, you have to watch the video and then decide for yourself if you think it's uh, right for you. All right, so is it worth your money? Uh, it's $25, 25 bucks. So like I said, you're getting a plastic bag, you're getting a paper raffle tickets, and you're getting an eight minute video. I think it's right there in the wheelhouse. You know, it's just, it's pretty close to what I think uh, a trick of this caliber would be worth. Uh, you know, the, there's not a lot of extras in the video. That's fine, you don't need them. Uh, like I said, you need to watch this for yourself. Know your own presentation, know your own persona as a magician, and see for yourself if this is the trick for you. Who would like this? I think people that do party magic would like this. People that do parlor, I think would definitely like this. Uh, small stage environments. Maybe if you have a group of friends over to your house and you wanna show them a trick that is easy to pull out, easy to do, I think you would like Luck of the Draw from Liam Moncher. All right, so that is my review for Luck of the Draw from Liam Moncher and Big Blind Media. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could review it for you. And if you wanna purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic retailer. Thanks, bye.